I did a short little study about wicked wives and hopefully look at three or four of them in the Bible. And as you can see, we're at 1 Kings 21, verse 7. And Jezebel, what a woman to start off. His wife said, Does not govern the kingdom of Israel? Arise, eat bread, and let thy heart be merry. I will give thee the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite. And she wrote letters in Ahab and sealed them in his seal. She signs her hubby's name and sent letters to the elders and the nobles that were in the city dwelling in Naboth. And she wrote the letters, proclaim a fast, let's get religious, and set Naboth high among the people. And set two sons of Belial before him to bear witness against him, saying, Thou blasphemy God, lie, and the king, lie, and carry him out that he and stone him that he may die. Kill him. And the men of the city and the elders and nobles who were in the of the city did as Jezebel sent unto him. So here is a wife that her husband didn't get his way. He's pouting and crying in bed, big sissy. And she steps in, does that now govern all Israel? Well, evidently, no, he doesn't. She does. And she comes up with a religious way. Liars. Stone them. And give the property to my husband. And it came to pass, verse 15, that when Jezebel heard that Naboth was stoned and dead. So there's a murder. And look at verse 21, chapter 21, verse 18. God speaking to Elijah. Arise and go down to meet Ahab, king of Israel, which is a Samaria. Behold, he's in the vineyard Naboth, where he has gone down to possess it. And speak unto him, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Hast thou killed? No, Jezebel did. But since Ahab is the husband of Jezebel, God holds Ahab, husbands, responsible to their wives. That's going to be something interesting that the judgment seat of Christ and the great white throne judgment, husbands will be held responsible for their wives and their actions and their children. I mean, there's, there's a thing in the law, if, if a daughter makes a, an oath in her father's house, that father has the authority, whether to make the oath good, make the oath bad, and for the man and his wife. So I thought that was it. That's Jezebel. And who names their daughter Jezebel? Wickedness. Take our Bibles now to Job chapter 2. Wife number 2. And we'll pick up Job 2.4. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yea, all that a man has, he'll give for his wife. But put forth thy hand now, and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he's in thy hand, but save his life. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord and smote Job with sore boils, from the sole of his foot unto his crown. And he took him a pot shirt to scrape himself with all. And he sat down among the ashes. All right, here she comes. Then said his wife unto him, Job, Does thou retain thy integrity? Curse God and die. Kill him. Job's wife did what the devil told God if I were to attack Job. God, if you if you touch that man's skin, he'll curse you. And Job didn't curse him. His wife did. And yeah, okay, her, her children have been killed. Job's children have been killed too. Now he's lost everything. As far as livestock and servants, now he's from the head of, from the crown of his head down to the sole of his feet. He's covered in boils. He's in misery. And instead of comforting her husband, she walks in and says, "Curse God and die." Kill him. What a comforting wife. 
And Job will say something later on that even my breath and my words are strange to my wife. And Job will get his children back. But you don't ever read anything about his wife. Another place. Number three, Esther. This one's remarkable. Esther. Esther chapter 5. 22. Now Haman is having a pity party like Ahab. All the kingdom is bowing down before Haman but one man who's a Jew. Mordecai. And that Mordecai won't bow down in reverence in which Jews cannot and will not. This upsets Haman's whole year. And he's just had a banquet with the king and the queen by himself, the three together, and he's invited to another banquet. And he's out in the in the in the kingdom and everyone bowing down before him but Mordecai. So he comes home, then says Zurish, that's the third woman, his wife, and all his friends with him. Let a gallows be made 50 cubits high. Gallows is an is a, is a instrument used for hanging, death. Kill him. And tomorrow, speak thou unto the king that Malik, uh, Mordecai may be hanged. Kill him. Thereon. This is his wife and his friend. Honey, why don't you make some gals, talk to the king, and, and have Mordecai killed. Then go thou merrily to the king and to the banquet. You know, walk up to the king and say, King, can you kill this man? All right, can we have our dinner now? That's the wife and the friend. We had a wife say, this curse God and die. We had another one. I'll just sign your name to it and I'll have Naboth killed. These women don't even blush. And that will be not tonight's Jeremiah study, but Lord willing, uh, Thursday night. People that can't even blush. And we got three females here, wives, mothers. They're just wicked. They're wicked women, they're wicked wives, and they're wicked mothers. Oh, let's go have them killed, you know. And, and, and talk to the king about having them killed. Kill him. And then, go about your dinner. Go about the kingly feast. Wicked. Last one. Mark. Mark, chapter 6. Verse 22. And when the daughter of said Herodias, that's our fourth wife, mother, and this is the daughter of Herodias, came in boogie woogie or danced, and pleased Herod, and then that sat with him, and the king said unto the damsel, Ask me whatsoever will, I will give it thee. And he said unto her, Whatsoever thou shalt ask me, I will give it thee unto the half of my kingdom. And she went forth and said to her mother, Herodias, that's our fourth evil, wicked woman, fourth equal, uh, 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 evil wife, fourth evil mother. She said to her mother, what shall I ask? And she said, the head of John the Baptist. In verse 27, immediately the king sent an executioner, commanded the head to be brought, and he went and beheaded him in prison. And brought the head in a charger, gave it to the damsel, and the damsel gave it to her mother. Wicked! Another! Another murder! Kill him. Jezebel said, Naboth, I'll take care of him. And Ahab had no idea the plot that his wife did to have him killed. Job's wife, just curse God and die, will you? Haman's wife, Zurish, just have gallows built, ask the king to kill him, and then have yourself a good dinner. 
Herodias teaches her daughter that have that man, that righteous man, that prophet of God, have his have his head removed from his body and bring the head to me. Isn't that interesting? These evil, wicked women, these evil, wicked wives, and these evil, wicked mothers kill him. Murder. And do you realize with Herodias, according to the Bible, kill him. She has been charged with the murder of John the Baptist. Her daughter has been charged with the murder of John the Baptist. Kill him. And Herod has been charged with the murder of John the Baptist. One woman has been charged with the murder Kill him. of John the Baptist and got her husband and her daughter involved. Of an innocent man, John the Baptist. Kill him. And Esther. Mordecai is innocent, hasn't done anything wrong, but did not bow down before Haman. And the wife, the woman, and the mother proclaims, Kill him. Let's have gallows made and kill Mordecai, an innocent man. Now, you can't charge her for the for the murder of the charge of Haman, because Haman already wanted him dead. He just didn't know how to do it. He got help from his wife. Now, we know the story. God turned the, the coin, and Haman got the gallows instead. And Job cursed God and died. Those were the words of the devil. Kill him. Now, Job did not die. Job did not get killed, and he lived a good long life and died of an old age. But his wife and a mother kill him. And Jezebel, the wicked woman in both testaments, she is a wicked woman. She's a wicked wife. She's a wicked mother, and she wants Naboth kill him. Murder. And Naboth didn't do nothing wrong. Naboth is obeying the law. And Jezebel says, Kill him. Job's wife says, Kill him. Haman's wife says, Kill him. And Herod's wife, Her Herodias, says, Kill him. You do not want to say I do to a woman as these four women that we've just studied. 